This is Barbès, a Parisian neighborhood with a high percentage of Muslim residents. As in other parts of the French capital, the streets were quiet following Friday's attacks. Euronews spoke to Rashid, a 30-year-old Moroccan immigrant who calls Paris home. He's fallen on hard times and fears his situation may worsen if there's a backlash against a North African community in France due to the recent action of jihadist terrorists. It's going to be hard for people like me to find a job, explains Rashid. I'd like to give all North Africans, all Muslims, some advice. They should express their solidarity and protest against everything these people are doing. France is home to Europe's largest Muslim population, with discrimination against the community a common complaint. Since Friday, security has been increased, only accentuating the feeling of unease among a section of society under scrutiny. Since I arrived here in 2000, I'd never been stopped and checked before. Yesterday I was asked, what's in your pockets, what's in your bag? I feel kind of humiliated because after 15 years here, I feel that part of me is French. It's really shameful that they're soiling the image of Islam. Islam is the opposite. It's not what these people have done. Muslim groups across the globe have been quick to condemn Friday's attacks. At Paris' central mosque, police guarded the entrance. Euronews' correspondent in Paris says the number of worshippers was scarce, with many unwilling to speak with us. The members of the Muslim community that we've met are worried and angry. They strongly condemned Friday's attacks and called for their community to speak out against the terror committed in the name of Islam.